Well, as we saw earlier in the program, the wild crawfish are fairly plentiful out there right now, but in Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, there's always an ample supply. This week, she and AJ cook up another delicious recipe using those delicious Louisiana crawfish. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show. Happy summer, folks. Welcome to Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen. I am AJ Sabine, of course, with Holly Clegg. And Holly, you're cooking up something really hot and spicy for this hot and spicy summer. Right? That's right. Crawfish cornbread, they really go together really well. Mm, mm. Me loves cornbread. So what do we have going on here? Okay, this is an easy recipe. And what I want you to think about is craw crawfish is very versatile. You could use your Louisiana crawfish. We did it in a spinach dip last time. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it in cornbread. So if you have a favorite cornbread recipe, just add some Louisiana crawfish tails to it. Delicious. So, very simple. And this is my recipe and my Gulf Coast favorites. We start with some yellow cornmeal. Okay. And then I'll let you add a little flour. And this is regular AP, right? R regular uh, all-purpose flour. Okay. Oh, listen to him. He's very creative. A little baking soda. You know, you taught me all this language, Holly. I got to tell folks because I didn't I didn't know that much about And food. just I happen to like a little sweetness to my cornbread, so this is sugar. Just a little sugar? Just two tablespoons, just to give it that. Okay. All right. Now for all the good stuff. So okay. you stir this together. I'm going to stir and then I'm going to do this. You're going to keep your dry ingredients separate from your liquids. And here's a little egg, a little jalapeno. You said you wanted it hot and spicy. I do. You know how everybody knows I love hot stuff. A little canola oil. And Holly, I got to tell you, we got to say thank you to the Around Town TV show for letting us be here today. Absolutely. Isn't this gorgeous? I know. It's a lot nicer in my kitchen. So yes, ma'am. It's fun to cook in. Okay. Now, I used red pepper. You know, it's summer. Uh, produce is so plentiful. You could use, I threw in some red peppers for color. And also, there's more vitamin C in red pepper than there is in an orange. I didn't know that. And then a little onion will do. And green onion. That I think smells it just adds wonderful. And this is a little reduced fat cheddar cheese, just a little cheese to give it some flavor. We're going to sort of mix all this together. And okay. a cup of skim milk for our liquid. It's and you also down. have some corn that goes in here as I well, I do too. Right? This is just actually the sure fine corn. And I like to, it's cream style corn, and I believe in convenience items. So it shows how simple this really is. We're just going to mix this together okay. as such. It does smell really good. And of course, it we really don't have does. our star ingredient, Louisiana crawfish. So I'm okay. going to pour this in. Now, I'm just going to just fold this in yeah, or what? Yeah, exactly fold it. And then we're going to do uh, Louisiana crawfish tails. Now, what I recommend doing is take your Louisiana crawfish tails mm -hmm. and buy them in the bag so you have them year round. Freeze them uh, in a freezer plastic bag so you have them to pull out whenever. Especially when you're using it in a cooked recipe, you really can't tell the difference. The only difference you have to do is look for our Louisiana crawfish tail. That's right. And I had so much fun when I was on the crawfish boat. These yep. might have been some of that I caught myself in. Probably. 90% of all crawfish comes from right here in Louisiana, Holly. That's right. That's right. I, there's nothing. Okay, so do that together. Okay. And then uh, and you, you want have me to options. just get a good blend in here, right? Right. And you know, I believe in options in cooking. My purpose is to take the stress out of cooking. So, you know, with the 4th of July right around the corner, I don't know where the months are going, sometimes it's fun to show your um, your cornbread, do them in muffins. So, yes. Okay. So just, and it's going to cook a little less in a muffin. You're going to hey, do you want, it Let in, me hold this for you. Yeah, I need some hunk of a man to do that. Well, that's me, folks. You I'm know the what's hunk so, of a man. Oh, there you go. What's so great about this is look at all the chunky ingredients in um, our star player are our Louisiana crawfish. Holly, tails. you always say cook with color, and this is certainly colorful. It is, and also what's great, I don't know if you're fortunate enough ever, but if you ever have a crawfish boil and you have some leftover crawfish, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it makes any dish taste even better. So this we're going to cook, or you could put it in a 9 by 13 pan, bake it 350 for about 45 minutes, or do muffins, and these freeze well. All this will freeze after it's baked too. Awesome. So. And folks, when we get back, Holly's got a beautiful dessert to show you. Stick around. And it's easy too. <laughs> We 
We are back, folks. Thank you so much for sticking around. And we'd like to thank the Around Town TV show for allowing us to use their beautiful studios, Holly. It's great. And, you know, I always say room for dessert. And remember, best of all, all my recipes are trim and terrific. That's right. And because it's so hot this summer, you have a cool dessert for us. I do. And it's only three ingredients, which is always good. You just take your Pepperidge Farm chocolate chip or whatever kind of cookies, okay. dip it in a little Kahlua. Oh, I like this recipe yeah, already. Yeah, and folks. then we're just going to slice some bananas. It's really a banana and cookie dessert. You could freeze it, but for some reason it never makes it to the freezer. And then we're just going to layer it whoops, with a little whipped topping. Mm. Is that the low such. fat whipped whip topping? Fat free Holly? whipped topping, of course. Okay. You know, all my recipes do have your nutritional information in it. Okay. And we'll just add a few more bananas. Where is my knife for Because I'm going to tell you something. My we'll friends down in Southwest Louisiana would say, my dad's good right there. And here's a little of this. It's as simple to make as, and this is sort of fun. To do chocolate curls, all you do is get your potato peel or carrot peel or whatever you want to call it. See, I would have never thought of that, to use the, the, the cheese curl deal. And then deal you know, all those that. curls that you see in the gross, on fancy dishes, it's very simple to do. Really? See, that's the beauty of this segment. You, you take away the facade of fanciness. There you go. And Absolutely. give it trim and terrific. Well, I'm about, I love that. I'm about two things. You're right. Trim and terrific and easiness. This cornbread with our wonderful Louisiana crawfish tails, it pops corn cornbread up to a whole new level. You'll okay. see. And the All proof right. is in the taste. Now, of can I try this now? Absolutely. I tell you, folks, every week I have a great job. This is one of the highlights of my job. Let me take a taste of this. I always say the proof is in the tasting. Remember, this is made mm. with our Louisiana crawfish tails that you buy in the bag. Holly, this is wonderful. You can taste the crawfish and the onions and the spices. It's really good. It's a great combination of flavors and textures, which I think makes craw craw crawfish cornbread good, if you can say that three times. Where can folks get the recipe for this? Uh, you can go to my website, which is mm. hollyclegg.com, or we could go to twilatv.org for the recipes and to watch it as well again and again and again. And if you folks at home would like more information about what Holly and I are doing here in the kitchen, you can always log on, like Holly said, to twilatv.org. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show.